Hi team, welcome to today's vlog. Today I have got four different cleaning hacks for you dream boats that I hope you are gonna love. These are really effective, simple hacks that you can do in and around your home with stuff you probably have just kicking around. Hack number one is scent your vacuum cleaner. This works whether you've got a bad vacuum cleaner or a badless one. If you are finding that you are getting a stench coming from your vacuum cleaner, then this is the hack for you. Our vacuum cleaners over time can end up smelling revolting. This is particularly true if you have pets. The reason for this is we are sucking up fur, we're sucking up dirt and debris. That is then going into the canister or the bag and it is gonna produce a bad odor. This is because bacteria is going to thrive and breed and also on the pet fur, there is something called sebum. So a really good way to eliminate this is Grab yourself some cotton wool. Here is one I made earlier. And take just a small amount. You don't need loads at all. Take a small amount. And then we are gonna bring in our friends essential oils. For this, I am gonna be using the lemongrass oil. Lemongrass is really good because it's got antibacterial properties and it is just gonna smell delightful. Once you put it into your vacuum cleaner, it is gonna eliminate any smells and the whole house, as you're vacuuming, will smell like lemongrass. So you're gonna to wanna to put a few drops, like so, onto your cotton wool. Then if you've got a bagless vacuum, you're gonna put it into the actual canister. I'm gonna be showing you this in my bagged vacuum today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the bag, we're gonna place this here piece of cotton wool within the bag and then we are gonna flick on our vacuum cleaner and I want you guys to try this at home, you will instantly smell the burst of essential oils that you are using. Try to stick with things like lemongrass, eucalyptus oil or tea tree oil. Be really careful though guys with any oils that you're using because some of them can be toxic to pets. This is mainly if it goes on their skin, it, they can have a reaction to it. So just make sure you check before you go ahead and use any essential oils. But this is a really, really good hack for making your vacuum cleaner less stinky. This is the vacuum bag for my Halo capsule. And as you can see, this bit here, I'm just gonna push down and place the cotton wool inside. There you go. Be free, my friend. And then what we're gonna do is, I'm then gonna place this into the Halo capsule itself. We switch it on and the burst of fragrance will spread around my entire home. on the Haley's Help YouTube channel will know I love a candle jar. Whenever I get candles, I never toss the jars out. I always repurpose them. They are so useful for so many things from storing makeup brushes, um, earbuds, cotton wool, you name it, there is a use for it. A really good use for the candle jars that is gonna come in useful in the winter months is to turn it into a pretty toilet roll holder. So this time of year, there's lots of sniffles and stuff going around, and there is a really nice way that you can, rather than just having this 
out on the side, you can make it look oh so beautiful with your empty candle jars. It's really simple and I'm going to show you how you do it now. So most candle jars will work. This one's probably a bit too small, so this one is what we're going to go with. All you need to do is remove the inside tube from your toilet roll. Okay, so you're gonna have something that looks like this. Don't worry about this bit, we're gonna pretty that up shortly. You just wanna make sure that you've removed the inside cardboard bit because it makes it just a lot more movable. Malleable? What's the word when it's like pliable? I don't know, you know what I mean. And then all you're gonna do is squeeze that into your candle jar like so. And then we are gonna get rid of this bit here, just because that is not working. And then that is what you're left with. And anytime someone wants to have a sneeze or wants to wipe their eyes, they can literally just take off a nice piece of tissue, give their nose a little blow, toss it in the bin, and you're good to go. <laughs> we are going to head into the kitchen for. It is a dishwasher hack using an orange. When it comes to our dishwashers, over time they can get a bit stinky and also they can be a build up of things like soap scum. The perfect thing to eliminate this is our friend, the talking orange. Cut an orange in half, or like so. If you've got oranges that are like about to go bad, dream, use them. You can also use the orange um, skin, so the peels from the orange. You can save them up for this hack as well. Just for ease though, I'm gonna be using the whole entire orange. We are gonna give this a squeeze into the machine. The reason this is gonna work is the citric acid within the orange is gonna cut through any of the soap scum and it's gonna degrease the dishwasher and get rid of any of the bad odors. Once we've given the dishwasher a little scrub over with the orange, we are then gonna go ahead and turn it on. Your kitchen will smell like a zesty orange and what is not to love about that. You can go ahead and use other citrus fruits as well. You can use grapefruit, you can use lemons, you can also use limes. I just like the scent of orange though. So pick your weapon and let's get going. October and the month of the witch, not this witch, this witch, we're going to be cleaning with witch hazel. Witch hazel is native to North America. It is a flowering shrub found all along the east coast. Witch hazel is an astringent which makes it a great product for cleaning many household surfaces, in particular places where dust lingers. Dust is mostly made up of dead skin cells and our witch hazel hero will tackle the dust and grime like a breeze.
cleaner, not a sanitizer. So when using Witch Hazel, although it cuts through dirt and grime and dust really nicely, it isn't going to sanitize your surfaces. So make sure that you are using a sanitizer as well, especially in areas where you have been cutting up raw meat. Thanks for watching today's vlog guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed these hacks. If you found them helpful, go ahead and share them far and wide. If you enjoyed the video or you've tried some of these hacks and you liked them, go ahead and click the like button. And if you are new here and you would like to see more of the content you have just seen in this video, then go ahead and click subscribe. You can click the bell notification as well. This will notify you next time we upload a shiny new video. Keep it clean guys, and I'll see you next time.